Hello, today's topic is about Python and object-oriented programming. I'm going to show you how to write a singleton class. The specialty of the singleton class is that this class is only allowed to have one instance at a time. So no matter how many times you call the init or the new functions, it will only create one instance and all the other instances will reference this one instance. This is good when you want to create, let's say, a class which is able to write to log files or databases and you want to make sure that the persistence of these data stores are kept. This means that no concurrent writes are happening, at least from application side, if it's not otherwise uh, enforced. So let's see how we create a singleton lazy class and after that we will see how to create a singleton strict class. So as you can see it will inherit from the object based class and it will have a non hidden variable. After that I define the unit function, which is going to get the self reference var variable. And after that, I will check if the singleton lazy already has an instance. And if it does not, if it does have an instance, then I will let the user know that I have already got an instance. Otherwise, I do not yet have an instance. Instance. Okay, now I'm going to create a class method. This is the get instance. And as you can see, the init and the get instance have two, two different arguments. The self means it is referencing the actual instance's property, and the CLS is referencing the class's property. So what this means for us is that if my class cl my class is hidden instance property does not exist yet and I am called, then I will associate this with my class other and after that I will return with the CLS instance. The other way is the singleton strict which already, which also has a base class of object and this will only have a new function which is called with the CLS argument and I will say that if it does not have an attribute which is an instance then I will Make sure that I call the super of this single concept with the CLs and that supers new function with the let's see all on first.
Tears like so. And after that, I will return with the CLS instance. So in order to verify this, we have to create at least two instances of these. trick with the first one is, the lazy one, is that it will only ensure the singleton property if we call the get instance method on this. This is the first class, this is the lazy way, which means if we check the reference of this object, it's the same in both cases. And this is the strict way. This shows us the same, that this is also going to have the same reference ID, which means that the only only one uh, instance is reference. So I hope you liked. Subscribe for more.